What is up you guys and welcome back to my channel. So for those who are new here, my name is Nicole. I'm now a third year teacher and it is about to be a new month and I always like to do a deep clean of my house and just pretty much get ready for a new month, especially since it's springtime so things are just waking up from their hibernation. I'm so excited because I love, 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 love springtime. It's gonna be crazy with school but I love the season just because things are growing it's time for me to start my garden like I just love doing that kind of stuff so we have a lot to get done we need to do our board bullet journal we need to work on our books we have cleaning to do we have a lot to do so if that's something you want to see then just keep watching okay so I know at the beginning of the year I said I wanted to do a bullet journal I actually have not been very consistent with this just because I have so many moving parts in my life, so it was just kind of hard to do. So what I'm gonna do is try to be more consistent this month. This is my goal. We're gonna look at some things on Pinterest and see what kind of themes and spreads we want for this month. as much as I normally do just because I really just don't have time for it and honestly I don't think I'm going to utilize it so I'm not going to waste my time doing it. So what I did do is of course I like to start off with a calendar of the month. So this month I went with a Lucky Charms kind of theme and the calendar that I use I put a positive note every single day or I try to put something positive every single day. Um, that could be either something that happened in school, um, personal life, anything like that. Just something positive. Then, of course, I did my habit tracker and mood tracker. Again, I just kind of kept along with the Lucky Charms theme. I saw it and I thought it was super cute, so I just wanted to keep going. And then lastly, I did my sleep walk and then my water intake. And then at the very back, it's just a month in review, so I can review for this month. So now I need to review the books that I've read so far this year, and then I need to update what books I need to get read in March. So let's go do that.
and changed my outfit because I was just so uncomfortable in my jeans. I feel a lot better in this. I just feel like more flexible and can do more. So whenever I do a monthly reset, I love, 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 love to clean the walls. And I know that's so weird because not many people are like, yeah, I know I clean the walls, but I do. And I've noticed that every single time I do clean it, it's disgusting. Like I, there's just so much dust that accumulates within a month. So I think I might do this like a bi-weekly thing because it's just so stinking much. And then I like to clean off the fans and then our vents and anything like that. So those are like my once a month and then I clean the floorboards. But I will post, I will link something to show you what I do weekly, bi-weekly, and then monthly. Because yes, I am OCD when it comes to cleaning. I get into these funks where I don't clean and I just, it affects my mood. It definitely, definitely does. So we're going to keep on cleaning. I am doing our laundry right now and then... Honestly, there's not much left to do. We'll talk about the books I want to read this month and then talk about that. But we're almost done and it's like 1 o'clock. So not too bad at all. So let's go ahead and finish off cleaning. I honestly kind of want to go ahead and switch out my winter clothes for my spring clothes because we are getting like beautiful sunny days, 70 degree weather. And I just really want to go ahead and get rid of all of my sweaters and then just get ready for springtime. So we might do that, that's on our list, but if I don't get to it, it's not the end of the world. So let's keep going. Live your life within the moment, moment. And don't go wait until the morning, morning. You never know when it is over, over. All that I know is we'll get older, older. So let us dance this night away. We are going to talk about the books that I really want to read this month. I will say I am behind on my February reading. I didn't read three of the books that I was supposed to, so I'm just going to attach them onto March and see how well that goes. But I'm not too concerned about it because I am a teacher. I obviously have summers off and I'm going to utilize my summers because something big is happening that I can't say just yet, but it's happening and I'm going to try to spend the summer to get ready for it so more to come on that I can't really say anything just yet but I will keep all updated but let's go over the books so right now I am currently reading the reflection the twisted tale by Elizabeth Lim um honestly I'm all for it I would like read 60 pages last night and I was so captured and like enraptured by it I I love it. It's a good. I like the Twisted Tale series. My favorite one so far is either the Cinderella or the Little Mermaid one. I do have to say the Beauty and the Beast one is pretty good, but it's not the it's not the best one I've read so far. Um, I'm also going to read what once was mine. It is another Twisted Tale, but this one has to do with Rapunzel. So that will be my next book. Um, that was also the one I was supposed to read for February. Then this is also another book I was supposed to read for February. It is the Mortal Instrument series. It's book two, so it's City of Ashes. I love the TV series, but my problem is, is this is like a big read. Like I have to be very, very focused while reading it. So we'll see how this goes. The first book I struggled to finish, so we'll see. Um, the next book is the Evernight series. It's by Candace Noble. She is a Texas author. I bought her first book in a store and she personally signed that one, but I just need to get the rest of her series. I do love her. I do. I think she's a good author. All right. And of course, to finish off the series, because I want to finish it, it is the third book, City of Glass in the Mortal Instruments series. And then this one, so I've seen the movie and I know they're coming out with a TV series. I don't know what platform they're showing it on, but it is the Fallen um, series. Um, I've already read Fallen. I read that in February. So this is the second book 
um, Torment by Lauren Kate. I want to say I already read this one, but I'm not 100% positive because there was a time where I wasn't keeping up with any of them. So Torment is the second book in that series, so I'll let y'all know how that goes. And then this took TikTok. This took book talk by storm. It is Every Summer After by Carly Fortune. So that's that one. And then because part one is coming out, I'm so excited. I'm a Bridgerton girl. I love, love Bridgerton with all my heart. I have already read this. I am going to reread it because the series comes out. It's my Penelope and Colin love story. Ugh, I love it. So it is Romancing Mr. Bridgerton by Julia Quinn. I'm so excited. Okay. And then again, I love the Twisted Tale series. So this one is Go the Distance. I'm excited for it. And then this is the part two of every summer after it is meet me at the lake by carly fortune again and i think you can already tell by the pink cover what book this one is but it is the happy place series again this took tiktok by storm and i have not read it because i don't know i'm weird i don't like reading books if they're overly hyped unless i know for sure what the plot is and nobody told like nobody said the plot and I was like, okay, well, I'll just go ahead and give it a try. And then I got it taken away by some other book series. So I never actually read it, but we're going to read this one. Um, there is another book that I need to get from my library. I'm trying to read my personal books before I go to the library and get more books. Because I have read most of the books behind me, but I haven't read every single one. So that's my problem. I buy them and I don't read them. I got to change that because these are cheap. So there is a one that is um, by PC Cast. I can't remember what it is, but it is the Night series. It's like a vampire book. I, again, have started the series, but I don't finish it. So my goal is to finish a lot of series that I have started and just never finished. And then lastly, it is the City of Fallen Angels, the fourth book in the Mortal Instrument series. A lot that's a lot of books y'all that is so many books we'll see how this goes we will see we will see I'm like low-key freaking out right now because I don't think I've finished a lot of these I don't but it's okay because like I am still ahead my goal is to read a hundred books a month or a hundred books a year so I equivalent I made that equivalent to ten books for January through October because normally November and December are very crazy hectic times for me as an educator so if I don't read 10 books a month it's okay because I have those two months that I can read and that's when we have some longer breaks too but with that being said I am gonna go ahead and end off our vlog right here I am so thankful that y'all went along this journey with me I truly hope this new month brings you new and exciting adventures. I hope this new month is like a breath of fresh air for you. I hope it motivated you to try to get a fresh, clean, organized house, agenda, whatever your heart desires. But I truly hope this new month grows for you and just brings you love and joy. So if y'all have not already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can join our little family. And if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. But I love y'all so much and I can't wait to our next adventure. Bye guys. Ooh, ooh, ooh,